you see here a completed additional research form. Uh, you will start this form by entering your name, the current date. You then will include a short description of your project topic area. You then will tell us if this is your first, second, third, fourth, or fifth piece of additional research. You will then give us the date of the research. Once the form is printed, you will check one of these boxes. Notice that it says if you take your source for the Internet, you must include the printout of the website in your portfolio. Don't forget to do that. You then will do an MLA citation for whatever type of source you're using, whether it be a book, a magazine, a newspaper, a website. This particular example is one coming off of the web. You then will say why the source is credible. We want to have you use good quality research during this process. You then will go into detail and give what the source provides in terms of information relating to your t project area. And then you are going to tell us how this particular piece of research is the same or different than your other three pieces of research. Okay. So that's what a completed research, additional research form looks like. Again, it should stay to one page. Let's look at a blank one. So here's a blank one when you open it up. And again, you want to make sure you have your documents all neat looking when they're finished. So you're going to put your name in here. And again, you notice it wrapped around because I pushed the line down. So I'm just going to delete one of the tabs. And then I'm going to go in and put in whatever the date is. And again, you notice it wrapped around. So I'm going to want to delete that back out. Go ahead and put in your topic. And again, I'll clean it up. Remember, in all of your culminating challenge forms, how the form looks is just as important as the content. Okay? Let's say this is my second source, so I'll put number two down here. And then put whatever data research. I'll just say it's the same date. Okay? So it's there. And again, you notice the line has wrapped around, so clean that up. When I'm done, I'll go ahead and print this. Now, in terms of the format again, which is standard, after the question, you want one blank line. Then go ahead and put in your particular documentation for whatever type it is. When you're done, you want one, two blank lines. Okay. Then come in again and put in your answers for your why is it credible. D, 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 D. All right. And again, when you're done with that, you're going to want two blank lines to the next question. All right, and then go ahead and for an, we have one blank line after the question before your answer. You'll throw your answers in there. And notice, too, that I made a mistake there, and now my answer is in italics, which is a no-no. So you want to make sure you clean that up. Get that italics off of there. All right, and then again, two blank lines to the next question, and then your final answer. Okay, so that's the formatting of an additional research form. When you're through with the additional piece of research form, you would then print it, check off the correct boxes up here, and then either show it to your advisor or your classroom instructor. When you have this document checked, you do not need to include with it the printouts if it's off a website. Just make sure you have those in your portfolio. And that is the completion of an additional research form.